Rick, it has been a pretty interesting morning here. We've got some devastating news, as you just mentioned. Right behind me, though, Fultondale High School was hit pretty hard by the storm. Now, let me step out of the way, and maybe we can take some of the video, too, of the damage that we've seen here from earlier. The front of the school doesn't look that much different, but we do have blown out windows, a little bit of roof damage, as you can see. Most of that damage is on the back and the side. The sports fields were hit pretty hard, too. Scoreboards down, bleachers damaged, that kind of thing. But perhaps the worst news that we got out of this entire storm was the death of a 14-year-old freshman here at Fultondale High School. He was that confirmed fatality from the storm, and we had the superintendent, Dr. Walter Gonsolin, here just a little while ago is talking about that. So we, we have gotten word, has been confirmed that one of our students, there was a fatality amongst the student body. Um, um, we don't, you know, out of respect of the family, we don't want to release too much information at this particular time, but we do know that it's um, a 14 year old, a 14 year old student in the ninth grade, which again adds to um, the sadness of the situation. Very tragic news coming here for the Fultondale High School family. We really hate to hear that kind of news, but just to give you an idea of how strong the storm was, the high school's right here, just across the street here on Carson Road. Look at those trees snapped right at the base, and Carson Road's full of those all the way down Carson. And if you keep going that direction down Carson, you're going to run right into Center Point where we also saw some damage from that storm. So pretty devastating for this North Jefferson County area. Carla, back to you.